is good everybody it's E-Red welcome back to the channel and today we got an ultimate team video as you can see by the screen this is what we're rocking with and if you look towards the middle we got 99 overall the GOAT Tom Brady now I know Tom Brady never played for the Ravens but he was a free agent he was a part of that free agency promo and with that free agency promo all the players kind of in the same way I got clowny is able to get the chemistries of all the teams so hence we got Tom Brady. We actually have Lamar Jackson backing him up. We'll see. We'll still see him. He's been kicking butt, you know, in the previous gameplay. So we'll still feature him in our offense. You'll see it sprinkled in. Um, there's really no other differences on offensively. On defense, we actually got the CJ Mosley card, mostly because the draft promo was today, and now we got 299 overall middle linebackers, which has some heat on the defense. So I'm looking forward to seeing how these guys play. Without further ado, let's get into some weekend league gameplay. All right, so now we got our 399s, Brady, Ray Lewis, and Night Train Lane, and we are going against, ooh, Brady, Owens, and Night Train Lane. It's the battle of who got the better Brady. That's what I'm looking at. So starting out on offense, so last week I actually did really well in league weekend league. I went 18-7 and seven out of the 25 games. So Tom Brady actually did an incredible job doing what I needed him to do. And when you got runs like that, I could see why, right? <laughs> but again, we actually had a really good performance with Brady. I have protected on him, which gives me better line play. Gunslinger, which makes him throw the ball faster, and the hot route specialist. The third one, I think, is a, a dead eye one. But the reason I did this is because I need accuracy with his passes. And right there, oh, we almost got it, but he just missed the throw. Okay, so second and ten. I'm actually going to go, ooh, I was going to run my bubble route, but... I think this audible right here is going to be good money. If we don't see any reason, I think we got a good dot. Let's go. And we almost get the first down. All right, so third and four. Without a doubt, I think the safest bet is run this RPO. As long as he doesn't have a linebacker who's jumping it out, I think we should be fine. And like I said, he doesn't have somebody jumping it out. Easy pass. And Mark Ingram gets us past the 50. All righty, so now it's first and 10. I want to do some audibles. This is one of the things that I like is both like the gift and the curse with this Brady thing because I'm here throwing up a whole bunch of audibles I probably would never be running, but it's fun, man. It's, it's fun having the option. So I got Hester on a post, Bolden on an in route, Tyree on a fade, and I got this route right there by Jamal Lewis, who's going to make a great spin, get some yards. All right, no huddle. I'm doing too much. I'm doing too much. In reality, I probably should have just thrown an easy route like this that I'm about to do. So let's go with it. Oh, that baseline is perfect. He actually got the safety out of the play. We got an easy dot. Let's go. Oh, almost got the first down. All right. So now coming out, it is third and three. As you can see, Lamar Jackson is back on the field. I have this read option called. This is why I like having Lamar Jackson because with the theme seed, he's still at 99 speed even with the uh, – the downgrade so let's see if this works uh oh oh it doesn't ah, I think I'm gonna take my points all right first and ten from the 28 he actually has Tom Brady too so this should definitely be interesting to see what he does now with that pocket passer I'll be honest he has to start throwing it soon so we'll see oh he's throwing it right to me it's a pick what well, all right that's how we're starting the game off man it's nice to see Madden is starting early with the BS, but you know what? It's fine. This is why we got to send some heat at him, make him make some bad choices. Boom! Oh, good slant. All right. I'm not going to lie. That's a little infuriating just based on how, you know, there was really no reason for him to, to have that huge gain that got him in the field goal range. So it's a little concerning to say the least. Oh, and he finds someone. Oh, wait, there's a flag. Incomplete. All right, cool. Illegal touching. I'll take that. Back up. So this will be accepted as a from the All right, the lesson here, you can't afford him to get points. Oh, God. No, and it, I think I'm just let him do just that. Oh, no, we stopped him at the one. Okay, good. All right, well, it's third and goal, and we hopefully we get a stop here. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, no, I didn't want this to happen. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Uh-oh. Who is he throwing to? Okay, he lost four yards. All right, cool. So we're starting out first and 10 from the 25-yard line. And to me, nice and easy, running my level sale concept. 
I think we can get him in opening. Let's go. And Mark Ingram makes a good play. All right. So now we got second and six. I'm going to put Texas route. We got this concept. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. Uh-oh. I think we got a dot. Let's go, Tom. Let's go. Take that in the second quarter. All right, perfect. Cause stuff like that, I like a lot. That's like the best case scenario that that could happen for us, that we cross miss field. We're back. We're, we're back moving the ball, man. Oh, God. Oh, no, Clowney got us. Oh, man. No huddle. No huddle. No huddle. That was a little frustrating. Clowney came off the edge. We're supposed to have protected. And that was the last thing I felt. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I don't know who to throw it to. Oh, my God. It was late. I'm... All right, this is probably me tripping because I don't need to be doing this, but I'm going for it. I mean, I'm not going for it. I'm no huddling and trying my hardest to get this off. But I think we – oh, Tom! Now you can imagine my frustration because we were right getting close to the – we make that huge game cross this field, and now we got to punt the ball away. All right, this is where we got – look, this is the test of our defense. We got C.J. Mosley, although we have those upgrade with Brady – we also got to find a way to make sure our defense is doing its thing. And we didn't, you know, like, we only got three. And we, ha and we had another bad possession on offense, I feel like. So I think if we get a stop on defense, maybe we can start swinging the momentum back for us. And the nerves are kicking in. Oh, wait, I'm looking at this. So if I'm not mistaken, he actually has a whole, he has an X factor in Jerry Rice. So that tells me I can send my heat. I can send my heat. Let's go. Clowney got there. All right, now working with a second and 16 definitely makes it a little easier. I'm not, I'm not, uh, okay, cool. All right, cool. Got him. Oh, he almost threw a pick. So to me, this, what this tells me, I, I got to keep it going. I have an idea about what he wants to run. So as long as we're there, as long as we're there. Oh, no, I knew it was another in route. Sloppy. I keep playing so sloppy. All right, first and 10, he's driving on us, man. And I know we probably, you know, we could do better. And let's go. Zedaria Smith laying the hit stick. All right, second and 12, I actually have cover four called just because I like the way the look it kind of gives us here. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh-oh. Night train. Night train, no. Oh, my God. Another huge gain for him. He's doing his thing right now. He drove down the field, and he found a way to get – Right in the end zone against us. Hopefully, he's he actually has now got two clock and everything on. Oh, I thought he was going to hit stick. Oh, it didn't work, and I think we're going to the two-minute warning. I don't know what to do. I think I'm here. I'm sending somebody. I'm sending somebody. I don't know where he's looking to throw. Let's go, but a huge sack. Let's go, Calais. All right, to me, it is third and 29. I want us in the house. There's really no reason for me not to, right? I mean, best case scenario, what he gains a... Uh-oh. Let's go. Let's go. Another sack. I think I knocked him out of field goal range. Timeout. Let's go. Fourth and 39. He's going for it. This is the energy I need to see. Uh-oh. Get back there. No matter what you do, get a sack. And if they block everybody, they block everybody. You just got to make this. Let's go. And he dropped it. Let's go. Like I said before the drive started, all we needed was a stop and we can get the momentum. All we needed was a stop. Whoop. Got it. And now we got to throw and we're going to get out of bounds. Let's go. All right. First and 10. We're getting close. We're getting close. Now I'm running this play action because we just ran it. So now it makes sense. Oh, God. Throw quickly. Hit stick. Oh, man. So what happened there, basically, I, I just ran out of bounds. I didn't want the clock to run. I didn't want to have to waste the timeout. So right there. Oh, I think we got a dot. Let's go. Let's go. Woo. There are so much nerves. I wish I could say there wasn't, but there are so much. I think he might actually. Let's go. Oh, I bad play by me. He was running man defense, and I didn't adjust in time. All right, so now I'm almost 100% sure he's running man defense. So with that being said, I got to get it to my playmakers. I think either Tyree on that wheel route is going to be open, actually. 
Okay, so these are the adjustments. I got a wheel route, the drag, and Mark Ingram should be wide open, if anything. Oh, God. I should have thrown it to the wheel route. It was open, if anyone saw. I'm going back to it. I'm going back to it, and I know I shouldn't. Oh, my God. So much nerves. All right. Let's see what happens here. The clock is ticking. I probably should be using a timeout, and I'm not. I'm clearly messing up here, but I think we got a dot. It doesn't matter. Let's go. Tom Brady dot him up. 10 to 3 lead. Woo -hoo. I don't know what that karate chop was, but that was a lot of adjusting to trying to find somebody open. I'm nervous. I've been doing well at Ultimate Team. I don't want to show a loss. I like the streak. I'm trying to keep it going. All right, so for me, that was huge. I mean, just basically with the way that drive went, like he gets the ball to start the half, like, Every, anything we did was a success story right there. So right now, all we have to do is make sure no one's getting open. I see where he's trying to go with the ball. It's not a surprise. Oh, let's go. And Tom Brady's inaccurate, and we can rock with that. All right, so second and 10. Again, let's just keep the momentum with us. Try to get out there. I think we got an interception. Oh, what? Oh, my God. All right, clearly, my mans did not want to be great, but it's fine. Okay, let's see. Uh oh, got him! That's how the interception was supposed to look last time. All right, so picking this back up in the second half, I'll be honest, I think right now the best case scenario is us trying to get some passes like just, well, what you would call it, us coming out more pass coverage defense. And the reason I say that is like our pass for us, like we've gotten some good blitzes, but right now I just want to mix it up. I think that's kind of the idea. Have some speed out there. And right now, just like that, Ray Lewis making a tackle for no gain. Also, on top of that, with the way my guys have gotten lost, like on those deep posts, I would rather have somebody there to... Let's go! I was talking, trying to get a pick. Oh, my God. Take it back, Ray. Take it back, Ray. Good play. Let's go. All right, so right now I'm actually going right to this out route. Oh wait, I meant to be it. It meant it was supposed to be an out route. Now watch this because it looks like he's in man defense, right? So I'm gonna motion Ingram, and then the out route should be open. Watch, watch, watch this, watch this. Ready? Oh no! Oh my God! It was open. It just took. Uh, good play. All right, I'm just gonna go back to this no huddle. Throw this when it's open and get my yards. Ooh, he no huddled. I mean, he he changed his play, which is good. I like that. Uh, okay. Waller on a on a curl route. Hopefully, he catches it right in the end zone. Oh my God, we get sacked. All right, well that was an awful possession. I'm taking my three. I'll be honest. I was probably trying to do too much. I was a little pissed off that he was dotting me up. And from look, from the first play, he already put me in a bad mood. And I know it should it, but sometimes Madden just rubs you the wrong way. So you're like trying to get back at him at his own game. Probably should have ran the ball there. But you know what? We got a 10-point lead, two possessions, and I can live with that. All right, so right now he's coming out in this set, and I'm honestly expecting him to kind of throw it deep. Just given the sake of the game, I think he wants to get those post routes open. So that's my assumption. So I actually have an all-out blitz called. See if he'll actually throw something. See, look, there we go. I knew what he was trying to do. It's nice having that little mix of being able to send some pressure, but at the same time also just drop everybody back in coverage is dope. Like, it's wonderful. And that's why I like this big nickel formation for people who want to throw, but just going to kind of like throw in the run every once in a while. I like this big nickel versus the 3-4 where 3-4 is like, I'm blitzing. Deal with it. Or exclusively someone running the ball. So run heavy and blitz a lot, 3-4. Pass heavy and run a little bit. Big nickel. And now you probably go against those people who run, like, the dime stuff. And I, I, I like that to an extent, but I think sometimes it's a little limiting because it's, like, bad run defense. I at least feel this is a little better run defense. Okay. Got him. Thank you, Marlon Humphreys. I know he was whining to throw interceptions, and this is why I wasn't worried. I knew we can bounce back. With that being said, I am very safe to go back to running the ball. We try to throw it out of five wide, a formation I like running, but I'm not very good at it. So that's why it's best to go back to running the ball, gain some yards, and stay safe. 
Alright, so second and seven. I'm actually going back to my RPO bubble. I'm looking at this. I'm almost 90% sure he's running another man blitz. And as long as he's going to man blitz, I'm going to keep on throwing this route. There's no reason for me not to. And I like it, man. I like it. And I like it a lot because it's a touchdown. Let's go. 17-point lead. Now, I probably imagine what's going through this guy's mind. He's probably thinking, man, it was so close. Like, I probably made a mistake. And right now, all we got to do is play smart. So I'm chilling in this big nickel. I like this one a lot. Now, just in case anyone was curious, in this formation, I actually run Ed Reed as my other middle linebacker next to Ray Lewis because I like the speed out there, and everyone else is a DB. He's going to run. Whoop. Let's see. He's probably looking at this. Let's go. Oh, again, he throws it at me, and I don't get the pick. It just feels so disrespectful when he's, like, throwing it at my face and we can't get anything. So that's why I'm blitzing now. Woo! Oh, oh. Make a tackle. Make a tackle. Let's go. Tiffles. Tackle for loss, baby. Six rushes, negative five yards. Locked up. All right, picking his back up in the fourth quarter. I think we're getting ready for him to quit. That's my assumption. I think he's ready to quit. So I'm sending some heat at him, and we're going to see what we can do with it. Let's go, and Jadavion Clowney gets his second sack of the night. Let's go. Yo, we actually have identical stats, right? But if you take away that six, I'm going to keep talking about it. I, it's probably annoying, but you don't. All right, you know what? It don't matter. He quit. That's what matters. It was a battle. It definitely was close in the beginning, but once I figured it out, once I knew what he was doing and Madden took away his luck, you know your boy was about to take over. But I'm just kidding. I'm just honestly, it was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Deuces.